Hi, I wanted to show a couple exercises I do to try to correct uh, shoulder issues and upper spine, thoracic spine extension. And sometimes uh, some of these issues can cause a lot of shoulder tension, a lot of neck pain, uh, headaches even. A lot of times in um, martial arts, whether it be uh, punching, where we often have our, our upper spine, our thoracic spine uh, contracted like that, and we often have our chin down, our hands up, all our front musculature uh, gets tighter and shorter sometimes because we're in this position so much. So this also is true for uh, grappling as well. You're in that kind of guard position, that fetal position a lot. So everything's tucked forward. A lot of the drills are in the front. So unless you pull everything back, it eventually leads to uh, muscle imbalances and pain and stuff like that. So a couple things I'm going to show you how to do that I do, that I've been working on are uh, just working on the shoulders and the neck and the back trying to, to correct that. So one of the first ones is, is uh, I'll use bands a lot. Bands are great because they're, uh, they're consistent, smooth pressure so you don't have the jarring motion of, um, of weights. Uh, and they're, they're pretty great to use and they're, they're low intensity. They're very uh, light, kind of more like a physio type exercise. So we're going to use like higher reps, higher time under tension and less less resistance okay so first one we're going to do is we're going to hold the band this is a really easy band we're going to hold it about that far apart so our arms kind of look like a forklift and i'm just going to with my elbows pinned to my body i'm just going to externally rotate it's a very subtle motion externally rotate my um my arms and this is actually going to work the shoulder area the rotator cuff and it's going to help the, the shoulders externally rotate better now the reason one of the reasons why we do this is because uh, like I was saying with, our, with a lot of motions where our shoulders get hunched over, we kind of hunch over a bit, but they also come inward. And so this is a problem because if you, if you hunch over, exaggerate this motion, and I also bring my shoulders inward, you try to lift your arm up and you're going to feel what they call impingement. And what that is, is, is when my arm's starting to jam right there. But if I bring the shoulders back and I put my shoulder blades in my back pocket, now I lift and it freely comes up top. So, that impingement can lead to a lot of problems, especially if you're throwing a lot of punches in that position, and you can have you can really just thrash the tendons and get tendonitis or have all kinds of shoulder pain issues. So we want to take that pressure away from the shoulder. Well, another helpful thing is don't sleep with your arm above your head. That can aggravate, uh, cause a lot of inflammation in there too. So that first one we're doing is going to be just working the rotator cuff with a, this outside motion. It's really subtle. It's not a big movement. If you try to go too crazy your big muscles are going to take over and we're just going to work the little muscles. The next one we're going to do here is we're going to take a band, it's still a really easy band, but it's a little tougher, and I'm just going to have my elbows about shoulder height there, and I'm just going to pull this out. And I'm not trying to extend my arms because that, that would mean my triceps are taking over and I don't want that. I'm just squeezing my shoulder blades together. And this is helping to bring my shoulder blades together, and also I'm thinking about drawing them down. Okay. So when I do this position, I'm going to try to work on my thoracic spine extension and I want to have my shoulder blades in my back pocket. Okay, so it's going to look like I'm putting my chest out a little bit when you do this motion. Okay, and that's correcting that bad posture that's causing issues. Okay, the next one I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to take one of these bands. These bands are actually pretty cool. They're pretty tough. And, you know, the, the oil from your skin will eventually break them down. They don't seem to like oil. So you keep them clean. And, uh, I have one attached to an anchor point up top. So I'm going to sit back ways, and it's going to look like a lat pull down, but I'm not trying to engage my lats at all. Okay, what I'm doing, I'm just doing a little subtle motion where I'm dropping the scapula, the shoulder blades. So I'm drawing my scapula down, and I'm fully releasing it, extending and contracting, just like that. Just a subtle little motion, and I'm working on drawing my scapula down. So. Those are some great ones. Another variation of this would be uh, on a bench, okay? You can do these on a bench. You can lay on your bench, and uh, I can do what's called I's, T's, and Y's. So a T would be this kind of motion. I want to keep my neck uh, in line with my spine, and that would be a T, and this would be a Y, and some people could do, you can do the I's here in front there. So working that motion, here I've got good motion, here I've got pretty good, here not so much, I'm working on that. So those would be another option for, for some of those things. You can also uh, 
correct your neck posture by a lot of us you know, are texting all the time, we're driving our car, we're eating our food, everything's in front, we're doing everything here, so this, this musculature goes forward and we want to draw it all back. And one of the problems with our neck is we need to keep our chin in and draw it back like this. So this would be an exercise to, to start to correct you know, neck, neck posture here. So you can do it standing, or you can do it on a bench as well. You can, you can lay on the bench and just keep your, uh, keep your neck kind of neutral, right? And that's by keeping the chin down. You do a few reps of that, you try to start training the neck to go over top of your shoulders. You don't want your neck out here, you want your neck over your shoulders. Okay, and then the last one, uh, which can be done with those eyes, T's and Y's, uh, is just basically people have uh, seen like Superman's, they're a back extension exercise. So a Superman, I'll do it on the bench here. Um, basically, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lift my, my upper body, and I can even lift my legs at the same time and get some, some a little work in the glutes and the hamstrings. And I can, I can add the T's at the same time. Boom. And if I want to work the top, I can kind of roll from the top. Don't put all the emphasis, or you can emphasize the low back too. So you can do either. But uh, those are some of the ones I'm working with, uh, and they're super to try to correct that posture. So give it a go. Play with it.